So we're ready to make our door jam now to set into the, uh, the bond beam that was uh, poured on the stem wall. So to do that, we need to know how big our door is that we're making our jam for. So we just measure, this is our door, our incredibly antique door. We got 30 inches wide by 78 and a half inches tall. So that's six foot six and a half tall and uh, two and a half wide. So we're gonna make our door jam a quarter inch wide. So we're gonna go 30 and a quarter inches with our door jam, the inside dimension. Six foot six and three eighths. Yeah, it's actually three eighths. So we actually have an inch and five eighths uh, space gap height wise between the door and the jam. Uh, that's because we're gonna be putting a sill down on the bottom. We're going to make our jam. That's going to sit right in here. Then we're going to put a nice seal on top of that that you're actually going to walk on. That's going to take up about another inch. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so we're, uh, we got our pieces cut for our jam now. So for height, we got, we got our six foot eight, our, uh, our 80 inches that I was talking about before. It gives us an inch and five eighths clearance on uh, vertical between the door and the jam. Okay, for the top of our jam here, we have a measurement of uh, 33 and a quarter. So what that's gonna do is, this piece butts up against our verticals of our jam like this, and we lose an inch and a quarter on each side. So, we're in, so 33 and a quarter, losing an inch and a half here, an inch and a half here, turns into 30 and a quarter for our inside dimension. So this is what gives us our 68 by 30 and a quarter inside dimension. We're using all two by sixes for this jam. What has fame done to you, Bob? Well, I used to have a long beard. And after fame, in the request of all my backstage betties, I trimmed the beard. That's right, trim it on up, baby. Trim that beard. That's right. All right, this is where our door, our door jam is going to be placed. It's going to be mounted to these anchor bolts in the bond beam. So our bottom plate has to be pressure treated for our jam. Whenever you have connection with uh, concrete, there's a possibility of moisture touching the wood. So you need to either use pressure treated or like a Trex composite plastic wood. Here we're using pressure treated because we're on a low budget build. It's a lot cheaper than the Trex. So just like in a previous video when we talked about plating on our stem wall here, it's a little bit tight, but which we already got our holes drilled, but you get the, uh, you get your plate Positioned right on top of these anchor bolts here. You take a hammer and you hammer down to get that mark. These anchor bolts make a mark on the back side. And you take it out, take your plate out. Then you would see your marks and you make a 5 8 inch drill hole to fit these half inch anchor bolts in. So that's what we've done here. This plate is ready to go, mounted here, and this is going to be our the bottom of our jam. So let's go put that onto the rest of our jam now. We're ready to assemble our jam. So we're going to start by drilling a pilot hole. We're going to drill pilot holes for all our screws so they go in nice and tight, don't crack the wood here. So we're just assembling the top to the sides of our jam here. You want to get this nice and squared up like that. I like to put a piece of two by under all the corners on unlevel ground to try to level out so the pieces stay upright better. So here we are. I'm going to drill a couple pilots. Switch our bit. And we are going to be assembling this jam with three inch deck screws. These guys. And get up square again, so the holes can find, the screw can find the holes. So about inch and a half, inch and, inch and three eighths. Okay, since we got a 38 inch opening here between our two stem pores, bomb beam stem pores, uh, we're going to have to center this jam in the middle of this plate. This plate spans the entire 38 inches here. 
So I'm going to come in, I'm going to split the difference between our 33 and a quarter outside dimension uh, door jam and our 38 inch opening and come in two and three eighths in from each side to our outside of our jam. And that will center it right in the middle of this space here. So I'm going to make my marks at two and three eighths on each side of this to mark where my Mark where my jam is going to hit on the plate here. Two and three eighths on each side. Doing that? I'm flamboyant. <laughs> yeah. Through the hills of Cincinnati. Flamboyant Ted. New Wave of Mexico is where he landed. <laughs> Now our door jam is complete, and we're just going to put it into the house. So our, our door jam is now almost installed. We have it secured to the, the bond beam with our anchor bolts on the, uh, on, the, on the plate down here. And we just need to square the door. So to do that, we get the end of the tape measure centered on the, that corner of the, the top plate there. You come down here and you get the dimension all the way to the inside corner here. So we got 87 and 3 quarters. Without this moving, now you get this dimension over here down to the inside corner. And it's actually 87 and 3 eighths. So this is a little bit short, so we need to torque this over like a quarter inch. It's going to be so minute, right there, boom. What we did was, it's still not secured yet, so we can actually torque the door, the door jam this way, which will make this dimension longer and this dimension shorter. So we were looking for what was in between. We had 87 and a quarter, or 3 eighths, and we had 87 and 3 quarters. So really we're looking for about 87 and a half. An eighth of an inch uh, deviation, is, we can tolerate that. So if we get 80, about 87 and a half, give or take an eighth of an inch on both those dimensions, we know we're square. All right, 87 and a half exactly. And basically 87 and a half. Your life is a little bit, a little bit short there, but it's perfect. It's within an eighth of an inch. So. Now you can either brace it, or in this case, I'm just going to brace it to the top here. Okay. Now it's braced. Another way you can brace is to have a piece of diagonal, like a piece of plywood or something going from that corner down to this corner. Or you can have some little triangles on all four corners to keep it in that square position. I'm just gonna check it one more time to make sure it stayed while we screw it down. Okay, 87 and 3 eighths, which is an eighth under a half. It's exactly what I had before. So this side, I know, is gonna be exactly 87 and a half because the dimension on the other side never changed. Here we go, 87 and a half. This door is square.